Hello and welcome. This is another video of Woo Slap. This time we're going to talk about fusion. Now fusion is, let's just say it's just a great way to make energy because, like, let's say you have one gram of deuterium. It's a, just a type, simple type of hydrogen, which is very, which is stored in very large amounts in the sea. I mean, obvious. If you know chemistry. Now, fusion is when two atoms, not every single type of atom, only specific some types of atoms work on this. Two atoms combine or fuse, fuse hand, to make another type of atom and, an, and sometimes a neutron. I think it's always a neutron and releases a huge amount of energy. Now, why is fusion useful? Now, first of all, if there was no such thing as fusion, um, we would all die. The sun shoots light and heat by using fusion. In a second, it's a great alternative if you want to, you know, have an infinite amount of energy like like if you have this you're literally going to be rich if you have a nuclear fusion reactor so it's also great for solving econ economical losses so if you had one gram of deuterium you would basically be rich now, let's simplify here. I wrote that the sun's temperature is much lower than the sun, and the gravity confinement is kind of big, pretty big. So, but the sun is really 71% hydrogen and helium, which both are used in nuclear fusion, although hydrogen, it, I mean helium is harder, it still is working. This would be what would happen. But, on Earth, we don't have as much, you know, gravity or amounts of hydrogen. Although we are able to make huge amounts of temperature. Look at this difference. So, we should restart it. Okay, maybe that was way too low confinement. Yeah, it should be more. Like, that doesn't do much, but even with just two hydrogen atoms, there should be a large amount of energy coming out. Like, one gram of deuterium, boom! You get eight tons of, you know, you know, you get the same amount of energy that eight tons of coal can produce, which is massive! It's so big! And you know that, right? Like, Cool, it produces so much less energy than nuclear fusion. It is not clean, like, it produces tons of greenhouse gases. What about nuclear fission? It doesn't release, you know, greenhouse gases. Um, what about the radioactive waste and the part that people don't want nuclear fission reactors due to that nu nuclear waste? And besides, fusion still has almost three times, produces almost three times more energy, which is still crazy. Like, you know, one gram of uranium, that equals three tons of, you know, coal, which is so big. But it's still like nothing compared to nuclear fusion. So you're asking, what about wind energy? Mm, what if the wind doesn't blow? What about solar energy? Um, clouds, rain at the night, and like waves. What if there is no wave? Like you know, like or very weak things. They they wouldn't produce as much energy, or they would just produce a lot of environmental problems but what if we used fusion here fusion is clean it produces like 20 seconds of radiation that is if you use tritium 
and tritium's really rare, rare any, anyway, so what's the big deal of using it? And besides, this, the radiation is like for 20, 20 seconds, so, I mean, even if it leaks into the water, there's no real problem. Like, there's no real big problem. Then, why aren't we using nuclear fusion reactors yet? Like, we do have the technology to make one. That it. The problem is, the energy required to do the fusion is more than how much it produces. Which is crazy, but it's still true. Then, why don't we just steal the energy from the sun? We would literally have to go to space, which is challenging, first of all. And second of all, it requires a lot of resources. And third of all, like... Many people could die and very large amounts of money losses, so it's not going to be easy. Like, so, what, let's try something fun now. This. That's fun. <laughs> and where did all those atoms go? And let's set the sun with only. Let's restart it. Wait, there are a few hydrogen atoms coming out. Okay, let's increase the confinement a tiny little bit. Oh, one fusion. Oh, another fusion. Okay, let's increase the confinement. What's that hydrogen? I mean, what is it even doing? What is that helium-3 doing? Well, helium-3 is another type of atom that you can use for nuclear fusion, which is very abundant in the moon. But as I said, how can you, why do you even do fusion if it is not really efficient? And it seems like most of these atoms just combined up already. Like, most of them are just wobbling around anywhere. Yes, there are a few, but let's try that again. Okay, that's a lot of nuclear fusion happening. Now, as you can see, the blue guys are protons, the purple guys are neutrons, and the yellow guys are positrons. The size is not to scale because if it wasn't scale, you wouldn't even be able to see the, you know, positron. Like, it's 2,000 times smaller, if I remember well. Like, it's literally small as, it's literally as small as a quark, which is super small. I mean, you probably know that, don't you? And that's it for this video. If you liked it, like and subscribe. And I'll see you next time.